Look at the Asian markets. The Hang Seng is straight off the bat lower by about 270 points. The Nikkei as well as all the other indices lower by about four tenths, fifth tenths to six tenths of a percent. But yesterday back home on the Lal Street, well, the market make, made steady gains. The key indices ending at the high point of the day. The Nifty ended above the 10,700 mark, above the 200-day moving average as well. The Sensex too gained about 300 points with the mid caps faring well in trade. However, it was a volatile day for the Nifty Bank, which underperformed to close with minor gains. So what are the queues that are stacked up today? We have Anisha with us this morning. Anisha, good morning. Good morning, Manglam. Well, surely the RBI meet outcome is what would uh, really grab the mind space and headline today. And that might be able to spring the bank nifty to life today because as you mentioned, that one was languishing in trade yesterday, underperformed and ended with a gain of just 0.2%. Whereas we saw quite a bit of gains come in in the rest of the markets. In fact, uh, after early morning, wherein we saw some bit of uh, exhaustion in the market and caution ahead of the RBI board meet, we saw some buying coming in from the low point and that's the reason the Nifty ended above the 200-day moving average. Talking about buying, guess who was buying yesterday? It was clearly the FIIs because they bought around 1,100 crores in the cash markets yesterday. While in terms of the DIs, yes, they sold a tad bit because they sold to the tune of around 310 crores in the cash equity markets yesterday. You asked about the queues for today. As I mentioned, RBI board meet outcome is uh, paramount because remember uh, they have been able to avoid any kind of showdown and have been able to find some around, some sort of mid-ground and kick the can towards the December 14 meeting, which is the next uh, meeting that is lined up for the RBI. Uh, they say that they are looking uh, to form a committee to examine the economic capital framework, uh, which means that the government is a bit adamant to get the uh, reserves and dividends that they want, but uh, the RBI wants to take uh, the uh, backup of the data and that is what they are looking for. As far as uh, the C and basal norms are concerned. Uh, while the RBI has stuck to its ground of 9%, they have extended the timeline by a tad bit. And the board has also advised considering a scheme to recast uh, stranded assets of MSMEs. So something to keep an eye out on. Separately, what will be important in terms of domestic queue is the fact that there is a um, voting for the second and final phase of Chhattisgarh elections that will get underway today so something to watch out for global queues well they are not very enthusing at all because uh, as you've been pointing out Dow is down about 400 points S&P down 2% and tech stocks and the Nasdaq down about 3% in fact it was the entire FANG space that was coming under a lot of pressure the FANG stocks all of them now being in bear market territory Apple was down about 4-5% as there was a major supply cut for the new models Facebook was under pressure at the, as the public image regarding the elections continued to weigh on that particular stock. And what did not also assuage investors is the fact that China has alleged some massive evidence of chip maker violations and all these stocks were coming under a bit of pressure as far as the Asia mar Asian market is concerned as well. Uh, all of this led to the fact that the dollar has actually weakened. In fact, it is trading as a, at a two-week low now. This has been pressured uh, by the cautious commentary coming in about the US economy from the Fed as well. And that augurs actually well for the rupee. Now, that one has strengthened quite a bit already. In fact, yesterday, it ended at the highest level since September 4th at a level of 71.64. Uh, Separately, uh, crude has been inching a tad bit higher. Yesterday, it is maintaining steady around that 66.5 to $70 per barrel, uh, 66.5 to $67 per barrel range. But nonetheless, there have been talks about OPEC, Russia, and several other countries uh, bringing in a fresh round of supply cuts. And that is what has pulled a uh, the crude a tad bit higher. Asia this morning, as you were pointing out, is a, is a bit lower. Hang Seng, the early rates were not very enthusing. Though SGX Nifty, which was suggesting a cut of around 30 to 40 points uh, just in half an hour back, is now showing a cut of around 20 points. So maybe you can take heart from the fact. Uh, separately, if you look at the other news coming in from Asia, we have that news on Carlos of Nissan that really took that stock uh, lower on account of financial misconduct. We had seen the reaction already on uh, Renault as well yesterday, which plunged in double digit at one point of time. Uh, important level to watch out for Nifty for today, 10,800 and 850 on the upside looks likely. If not today, experts believe it is imminent in the near term. Uh, 10,700 and 10,650 on the lower end can be key support levels. But Bank Nifty is something to watch out for today because the... Uh, the 100-day moving average is at around 26,505. And given this uh, RBI uh, thing out of the way, maybe we'll see some uh, you know, pullback as far as the bank nifty is concerned. Back to you guys. Okay, Anisha and stocks?
Uh, well, yes, uh, as far as that RBI meet is concerned and the, the, the discussion regarding PC norms, so all of these PC banks, right from IDBI Bank, IOB Bank of Maharashtra, Dina Bank, Central Bank, all of these 10, 11 names will be in focus on account of that. Yes, bank. Now, there it seems the resignations continue and this is the third one that we have heard in the last couple of weeks. Now, this is what CNBC TV18 earlier broke and the news break has been confirmed that Mr. Chandra Sekran, the non-executive independent director, has resigned from the board of directors. He has cited personal reasons, but this definitely raises a bit of a caution for the investors. Um, moving on, talking about resignations, Fortas Malar says that Mr. Desikan has resigned from the position of CFO well, with effect from January 2019. Other than that, for Oil India, they have approved issuance of debt securities uh, up to around 4,000 crores in foreign currency, and they've also approved a buyback to the tune of around 4 5 4.5 percentage of the total uh, share base of the company at a price of 215 versus the current market price of 201. So that will mean focus as well. And talking more about buybacks, HEG board is also likely to consider a buyback, but that will be on November 26. PSP projects has a positive news as they have bagged an order worth around 370 crores. And lastly, pointing out NMDC, wherein the company says that pending the decision by, gov uh, by Karnataka government, the production has been suspended. And this is a temporary suspension. As per them, this is not a very significant move, but definitely something that the investors have been keeping eye out on as far as NMDC is concerned. Back to you guys. Right, Anisha. Thank you so much for that. In fact, Anisha spoke about uh, the RBI and the government board meet. So what we'll do is take a short break, come back, and we'll get you highlights of the nine-hour marathon meeting of the RBI board. Stay tuned.